Inferred lineage allows automatic discovery of data flows in Axon. Now this in Axon, as, as you may know, uh, one of the things, uh, one of the key capabilities of Axon is to show the business lineage, which is uh, for, for end users like line of business users, giving them not all the details of data lineage because data lineage can be very detailed. It can go into transformation level and, and staging areas, things that business users don't particularly care about. What Axon provides is a summarized view of lineage that is, uh, uh, you know, that is information that business cares about and helps them trust the data assets that they are looking for. Now, there is one problem, though. That problem is that creating these uh, business views of lineage today, is, uh, uh, today has been manual before. And what this particular capability does is it looks at the technical lineage that we have gathered from uh, data sources, from uh, metadata sources like uh, Power Center or IICS or other uh, sources that have lineage metadata. And then it can recommend, as users are creating this business lineage by hand, it can recommend what is uh, the right business lineage uh, that uh, they, they should create, looking at user actions before and all the business lineage before and using the technical lineage uh, that has already been automatically captured. So making that uh, manual work a little less uh, manual by providing these uh, recommendations. Now let's look at the next use case of data security and risk. And, and, and here, uh, our uh, key differentiators are ability to identify where sensitive data lies and how it is moving uh, with, with information like proliferation across geographies, across systems, across data sources and, and data assets. So this, uh, in conjunction with ability to uh, comprehensively address regulations like GDPR with full DSAR management and anomaly detection, are very important for meeting the data security and risk goals. The key products here that help with data security and risk are data privacy management, Informatica Enterprise Data Catalog, and Axon Data Governance. And the key users are in the offices of Data Governance Office and Data Privacy Office. Now let's look at some of the privacy capabilities uh, that are offered uh, by, uh, uh, by Informatica Claire for the security and risk uh, use case. Now, privacy regulations increasingly require organizations to have data protection plans. Now, Claire can help organizations simulate the impacts of these regulations uh, and protection plans to ensure greater return on investment uh, and uh, facilitating budget processes as and when um, you are starting to work on these risk areas. Claire evaluates the protection techniques applied. Uh, like uh, these, these can be uh, uh, encryption or masking or others. And for each of these data domains and calculates the change in the risk score after those data protection actions are taken. So, uh, ex uh, so, so this calculation includes uh, like exposure of sensitive data once that uh, action has been taken and residual risk cost for each of the selected data stores uh, to so to to create provide an aggregated impact to the organization. So so as a data privacy officer, you can drill down, look at the entire uh, risk exposure cost, and drill down and understand where the costs are high, and take uh, remedial action on those. We provide automated lineage and impact analysis. We've always done so from the first version of data privacy and management. And here, Claire leverages and extends the lineage capabilities. Uh, in uh, the enterprise data catalog and the enterprise unified metadata uh, platform uh, to be able to identify where sensitive data is and how it proliferates across repositories to support security, privacy, compliance, and, and risk uh, information. For example, a violation may occur if personal data is moving from a source to a target in a different geography, and Claire can automatically identify that uh, by looking at various enrichments that have been done in the metadata platform and tell users uh, that you know, the, the sensitive data is moving to a different department, different location, different geo, uh, so that privacy regulations are not violated. 
So policy or process stakeholders can then uh, be no uh, notified and can stay on top of uh, each of these uh, uh, each of these uh, sensitive data protection actions. Data domain discovery is one of the key capabilities that we have in uh, Informatica Claire. Being able to identify where uh, sensitive data is, is very important, especially in uh, the age of uh, large amounts of data in, in cloud data warehouses and data lakes. Uh, it is very important that privacy data it does not get exposed. It's not available to end users. End users don't need to get this privacy data. They, they don't want it either. Uh, they, they want to make sure that when they are going to a data lake in the consumption areas, uh, data is uh, cleared of all such privacy risks as well. And domain discovery helps by automatically identifying whether such uh, sensitive data exists in, uh, anywhere in the organization. It looks at data patterns, it looks at data values, uh, and automatically identifies where you have credit card numbers, where you have uh, social security numbers, uh, and so on. So all of this uh, helps in uh, 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 scaling uh, uh, regulations like GDPR and CCPA for all the data organization. It helps classify and prioritize personal data. Uh, for uh, risk remediation uh, like encryption or masking and reporting on sensitive data at risk uh, in uh, privacy uh, dashboards that we talked about earlier. And one of the things that you'll see in this session is we are going to talk about some of these capabilities again uh, for each of these use cases. And the goal is really not to uh, enlarge the benefits of Claire, but it, it, it is to tell you that how some of these capabilities are so uh, important and then they are important in each of these different use cases. So, so while data domain discovery here, for example, will be used for sensitive data discovery, it will be useful in a data catalog to identify key data elements. Where is customer ID? And customer ID may not be uh, sensitive, but it's very important for users to be able to search for customer ID and, and find it in un and unnamed files and, and, and things where uh, it, it's not properly uh, uh, not properly annotated. So uh, we will talk about these capabilities of Claire in each of these use cases. So when your customer has the use case of data privacy and risk, you can talk about domain discovery for sensitive data. But when it is for data cataloging and data analytics, you can talk about domain discovery for identifying key data elements as well. So that's really the goal.